Hello everybody, Joy Games here. Today I decided to play the Adams Family on the Sega Genesis and finally give it a try. I remember playing this for a very brief moment when I was a kid. So, what's in store for us? Let's find out. Okay, so it looks like we're outside of, yeah, outside of the Adam's residence. Killer Broccoli. That's what it looks like anyways. Or the Ocarina of Time Runaway House, or Tree. What's that called? The Tree of Wisdom or something like that? I have seriously not played Ocarina of Time in so long. What's down in this hole? I know you can go inside the house. I don't know why I didn't do that first. You have been foiled, foiled in your attempt to rescue your family. However, you still have a chance. Oh, I don't lock runny boots. That's too fast. The horizontal movement is one of the weird things. You seriously don't see those until it's too late. Cool, I jumped on his projectile. Yeah, this game, it has, I like the art style, it's nice looking, but other than jumping on enemies, there's not really much going on. Just don't get hit and survive. So we're back outside, so what was the point in all that? Did that bring me out at a different... I should have assumed that it was pointy equals hurt, but I don't know why I decided jumping on that spiky tree was a good idea. Okay, so now I'm... Is this the same house? Maybe. Let's go inside and... Okay, so it looks like it's, uh... Pick your destiny. Let's try the door on the left. Okay, we got... Dancing flowers? A giant sad tree? Can you go in the mouth? Under the tree. Under the tree? Wouldn't that actually be in the tree? I thought I went inside. It's... Not exactly sure. Are those like... Dolls. Yeah, my family is doomed. They were doomed from the start. 
So... Can I just... Is there like a weird pattern here? So you can just avoid these by just following the pattern. Oh, what's this? Secret block up there. Do I want to go down? Can you even get up there? Might be just out of my reach. Okay, so... Whatever this is I have, it's... Makes me think of a Mario star. <laughs> so is this the exit? No, oh, there's more. And okay, here's a one up. Cool. So there's another one up there. I don't think it's worth the risk though. I was trying to use A, but I lost it. Is it, do you lose it when you get hit? Hmm. Hmm. Well, there's one of my hearts back. So, can I be... Secret passage? What if I go up here? Why did that damage me? I was on top. Let's try the door on the right. Whoa. That looks... Whoa. I just teleported through that platform. This place is just like inside of a garden. It says the conservatory, but makes me think of like a greenhouse that's long been abandoned. Ah, I seen that, but yeah, let's. I want to check out the other rooms. Okay, so I guess we could check out this room, whatever it is. Okay, we got Adam Family Character Portraits. I don't know why I thought I could... Oh, this is just a music room. Okay. Let's try second floor door on the left. Portrait Gallery. Whoa. That was lovely. It just bonked me into that other enemy. <laughs> okay. Whoa. You could potentially if you if you could do it without dying cuz it 
you could just sit here and get like infinite points since the game doesn't a appear to have a timer or anything you could just sit here and get infinite points if you wanted I don't know if you get like extra lives for getting so many uh, points like some games do but I have to say though, the art on this game is wild. I mean, for an Adams Family game, there wasn't really much to like, enemy-wise, I mean, imagination a little bit. That thing on a unicycle looks like a little brown dinosaur. Makes me think of uh, the little dinosaur from the land, land of the lost. <laughs> okay, so you need to be up here. You could use this bird or bee thing as a boost. Oh, the boots or that's a shoe. I guess, I guess that's a shoe issue for power up makes you move faster which is a way to die faster should I continue or go in this let's see what's in here Oh, it's... Oh, that's weird. Everything's blue. Where did that horror come from? So this is just... Secret room? Secret room? Whoa, that thing... This guy's throwing swords. He moved at the last moment. I barely made that jump. I'll take that heart. So this is a dead end. I wonder if you have a weapon, if you could bust these blocks, if you had one of the weapons. There was a sword over here. I wonder if it respawned when I died. The chances of me making it back in one piece. As I speak, I die. Did I check this door out? I don't remember. Okay, no, I do not remember this. What is this? Monkeys and teacups? Is that a chef gone mad? Seems to be... Stuff you would find in a kitchen. Mostly. It's like a stove of some kind. Or a wood stove. So this... What's over here? Just a little bonus. 
Oh, there's a little extra man there. Or extra love. So you, if you hold the jump button, you get a little bouncy, but if you just jump on them, you just, but you can't drop down from a ledge. So like, I don't even understand where you even go. Because this, unless I go back to where I came from and go the opposite direction, which I don't even know how, maybe down this way. Yeah, let's. That was lucky. Okay, let's go left and see what's going on over here. This leads to the deep freeze where a cold but not heartless man lurks. The pantry. I love slide physics. And ice sickles. Ah, uh, okay. So watch for your head. This is going a lot better than first one. Okay, I'm out. Or no, I'm not. I thought I was. I know the last time when the this thing ran out, it made a sound, but that's the sound. Okay. Looked like an angry pig. No. Okay. Whoa, that eyeballs. Where are you going? Oh, there you go. Okay, this is... This place is weird. The ice physics... Is not something... That I can get behind. Especially when... It's like... It, it feels like it's affecting your jump. Like when you're sliding. It sometimes feels like I can't... Jump. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get much further on this. Just because of the slidiness. You barely move you go flying off the planet onto the next one it was a figure of speech so now we got wacky alien guys that like I thought those were bubbles but they're stalls
Okay, so that's a checkpoint. So you can... So you can off-screen shoot. I don't remember it extending that far though. Noted. See, you barely have enough time to make it through there. Just jump right into the blade. I love doing that. they expect you to get by that. This jump. Okay, let's go in the door, see what we got going on here. More saws, or Combo saws, I guess. That was lucky. What is this jump? That looks nearly frame perfect. I believe I showed pretty much all the rooms. Unless there's, well, there's obviously more if you can progress further through those, but. So yeah, that was uh, Adam's family on the Sega Genesis. And it feels weird playing this because I haven't played this since, you know, like I said, since I was a kid, but it was enjoyable for what it was other and it's basically just a platformer where you jump on top of enemies and avoid being hit. So anyways, I hope you uh, enjoy this video. Yeah, see you in the next video.